Hi, I'm James Bay. I want to thank Mario Lopez for this opportunity to answer questions that fans have sent in. This is my exclusive On With Mario Ask Anything chat. Yeah, I read that one. I read it most of it. So, Vivian from Rosenberg would like to... Her question is, I'm always anticipating new music from you. Are you working on new music? Do you know, perhaps, when the fans might hear something new from you? Best answer I can give at the moment is that I am always working on new music. I'm always... It's always up here. It's always going on. Um, I've got some stuff up my sleeves, too. I keep music everywhere. Um, so, yeah, you know, I'm always working on it. But there's nothing to reveal yet. There will be. Um, but, you know, I guess I'm only sort of eight months into this first album, into Chaos and the Khan. It only came out like eight months ago. So I'm still working on promoting that and, you know, taking it around the world, playing it to everybody. But don't worry. There will be new music. Um, it's on the way. Jessica from o Olath, O-L-A-T-H-E. How do you say that place? I'm sure it's great. Jessica would like to know, if I could be any animal, what would I be and why? <laughs> I guess I'd be a Wookiee, wouldn't I? Pretty easy answer when you think about it. Why? Because it means I get to be mates with Han Solo. Okay, next one. Marianne from Elkridge. Marianne? Marianne? If I could collaborate with any artist, dead or alive, who would it be? I would just like to sit sort of back right of the stage um, in Fillmore West in San Francisco and be the guitar player, just vamping in the back whilst Aretha Franklin's up at the front doing her thing. I basically like to be on the record Aretha Franklin live at the Fillmore because it's like one of the greatest live records I've ever heard. I'm a massive fan of Aretha, and yeah, that's who I would like to collaborate with. Just be the guitar player. Just sat in the back, Bernard Purdy on the drums, King Curtis in his horn section. I'm just there, just chopping at some chords, she's belting it, being incredible, as always. Nicole from Orange. Orange County? Orange? Is that just a place called Orange? I'm not sure. Do you have any hidden talents? Yes, in fact, I do have a very, very big hidden talent. Um, football, soccer. Uh, yeah, but back in the sort of 95-96 season, I was a top scorer at Newcastle United in, uh, in the Premier League in the UK. It was a, it was a big time, before, way before music. Yeah, hidden talent. You probably didn't know that. It's entirely true. Patty from Winnetka. Winnetka. Patty would like to know, what is the most interesting thing a fan has said or done while I've been on tour? Hmm. I think... Uh, a good one would be, oh yeah, I, 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 got, um, I got a seven inch vinyl record um, of a very important song to me. A fan gave me this in the UK, I think it was either at a festival or it was at a show in Bristol. Um, but it's a seven inch single with an A side and a B side. And it was um, by a band called Derek and the Dominoes, which is Eric Clapton fan from back in the 70s. And it was of their massive hit single, Layla which is, Layla has the most incredible guitar riff, and um, that's really the song that really inspired me to pick up a guitar, and I guess I talk about that a lot in interviews and stuff, so as a fan, this person recognised that, and sent me what yeah what she called an early birthday present, it was like months before my birthday, but um, I received that, and that was just one of the greatest things I've, I guess, I've received from a fan, um, very cool little moment, and the B-side was a song called Bell Bottom Blues, which is an incredible, just as incredible a tune. Um, yeah, so that was a nice thing. Natasha from Milan. Everybody has that song they put on when they've had a few too many drinks. What's mine? What's mine? Bat Out of Hell by Meatloaf. No question. Still recording? Yep, we're good. Maria from Moscow. When will he come to Moscow? Soon, I hope. I don't actually know. I'll, I'll, I'll get there. Don't worry, Maria. I'll see you soon. Tonya from Naples would like to know, what do you feel when you sing on stage? What about the link between you and the crowd? That's an interestingly worded quest question. I 
think if you're asking what it's like to be on stage and what it's like to play in front of crowds and you know the relationship that occurs every night, um, it's the greatest thing in the world. It's just the greatest feeling in the world to play in front of people who are there to love live music and love my music. It's it's a wonderful thing. There's nothing like it. It's very hard to describe, but I can tell you that it's just amazing. It's an incredible thing to experience. Jamal from Toronto. What is your biggest sorry, your biggest pet? Uh, I've got an Irish wolfhound called Liz, massive dog. I like to uh, I like to ride her around the house, kind of like I'm on a horse. Like, well, it's an interesting question. Oh, what's your biggest pet peeve? Oh. Jerry from Kansas. What's the one thing in America that you love that you can't get in the UK? The one thing would be two things. Incredible variety on the radio. You know, you kind of just get every type. You can get like soul, just soul and R&B radio. Or like Motown radio. Um, or like Bruce Springsteen radio. I, I found Bruce Springsteen radio once. And half and half. I love that. That's a wonderful thing you just don't get in the UK. Okay, those are all the questions. Um, I just gotta say one more thing. Just reading it, memorizing it. Okay. I just want to say thank you to Mario Lopez for giving me this opportunity to sit down with some questions from fans and answer them and say hi and just feel that little bit more in touch with everyone. Again, thank you to everyone. Thank you, Mario. See you soon.